Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. Uh, I have a 50 amp breaker from my AC unit that keeps, it doesn't pop, but it stops the flow of electricity without shutting off. So what I suspect is, I suspect there's a little bit of corrosion on the rail that it clips into. So we're gonna, plus it's a little bit hot. Now well, they're both hot. But uh, I just shut off the AC units Next thing I'm gonna do is shut the power off to the AC. And that's this one, it says marked AC. All right, 70 amp fuse there. All right, and I'll show you what we're gonna have to do. All right, once the screws are out, go ahead and pull this off right here. Now you don't really want to mess with any of this stuff while electricity is on. While electricity is on. So here we go. We're going to check for voltage. Make sure it says voltage AC, which is the wavy line. Put it on 750 volts. I'm going to check here and here. And I have zero. I'm going to check here and here. Right here. I have zero. All right, I'm gonna check here and here. I have zero. I'm gonna check here, zero. Um, where else? That should be it, okay? Next, what I'll do is I'll take the white cord off and I'll take the black cord off. I'm gonna look at all these connections. First thing you wanna do, is take this loose. See how loose it, see how loose this this one is? I don't, I don't know if they're, it's supposed to be that loose. So uh, just as a precaution, I'm not gonna touch the metal part of my screwdriver. All right, just unscrew that. Unscrew that part. All right, be very careful. You're gonna pull the wire out and move it down, pull the wire, don't touch the wire, just to make sure, I don't think there's anything wrong. But the way this new breaker works is it clips in here and it's held on here. So what we have to do is pull it from this direction out and pull it hard. Yeah, you don't have to throw it. <laughs> now let's verify that this is good to go. Same connector, same connector. And when I went to the store, I checked, I took a picture of this right here. This says type TQ, uh, THQL, all right? And then this one's a type THQL. It actually says it right there, THQL, uh, uh, 50 amp, all right? So what we're gonna have to do is open these next. So go ahead and open these a few turns. All right, this is a new one. We're gonna, I opened it as wide as it'll go without unthreading these. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna inspect inside there to see if there's any kind of uh, debris inside the contactors here. And I don't see any. I'm also gonna look at these wires to see if there's any issues with those wires. So basically what you have to do is connect it in reverse Actually, we're gonna do it easier this time. We're gonna connect it while it's in our hand, then put it in. One at a time, feed the wire in here without touching it. I'm pretty confident it doesn't have any. And what I wanna do is I wanna kinda of twist it around in there. And what I wanna do is I wanna get any corrosion off of that wire that might be present. And get all that corrosion off of that. It's not gonna do much but it's gonna, it's gonna do something. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Cause I can't do that once I connect the other wire. All right, I made a, I made a mess of it, that's good. All right, now I'm gonna insert both wires, put them all the way down. That's how the contractor did it when they put it in. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna cinch them down and then you're gonna wanna tighten them pretty good. All right, cinched. Make sure that they're tight in there. Pushed, I mean, what I mean by that is butted up against. All right, then I'm gonna tighten it good. 
once it's cinched that one see that one wanted to come loose a little bit i'm gonna tighten that one good you can get another bite on this one all right good now it's ready to go i don't see any kind of corrosion on those terminals i'll blow some of that uh, weeds out of there you want to trim the these bushes all right so what you're going to do is you're going to get it in the back right here and it's going to it's going to go right in there like that and then you're going to line it up and smash it down all right there you go it's smashed down now okay both of them are in the off position so everything's tight i'm going to tighten this one while i'm in there All right, good, got a little bite on it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now, just to see if electricity gets applied, and this isn't gonna be, this isn't gonna be the end of it. What I wanna do is turn it on, because I'm curious, I wanna know if it has voltage now. Oh, there you go, 250, 250 volts. All right, so whenever I go like this, let's see if it works. Okay, but there you go. When it's in the on position, that's when it transfers the voltage to the back. All right, we're gonna turn this off before we try to slide that metal panel back inside there. So shut off the ACs again. And now that I slide this little metal panel, do you see why I don't wanna put the metal panel in there with it electrified? Because I can accidentally put it inside here, so. Carefully slide your metal panel back in. It goes in between these two nubs. All right, just like that. And then connect your screws here. So if you're having issues with AC units, a lot of times you can Fix it yourself, but you got to really be worried about this 240 volts that's, a, that's there, okay? Always be very careful with that stuff. All right, so there's that. Let's connect this one back up. All right. I will close this off camera. Anyway, um, anyway, this should work now. Um, this is the old one. Not sure what happened inside. It does have some shaking going on, but that's probably normal. Uh, it's probably the back ends. But anyway, uh, yeah, we replaced it ourselves. Saved us some money. Uh, we knew what it was because it was it was shutting off power, but it was not tripping on the outside. It wasn't tripping these. So uh, there we go. We're gonna apply power and we're gonna cool our house back down. And I wanna say real quick that you really, really, really need to be very careful. And if you have any reservations about this repair, please call out a certified technician or electrician. Or uh, I actually would not want you to attempt this if you don't know what you're doing and if you don't follow these steps exactly to make sure, verify that electric power is disconnected from your circuit. All right, I'll turn the ACs back on. Let's see if it works. Perfect. Well, that one's good to go too. I just need to tell it to turn on upstairs. There it is, it finally turned on. It just had a timer delay on it. Uh, we'll see you next time on I Just Fix It Myself.